Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my absolute favorite dish ever, smoking and tomato. And it's a very, um, I'm going to just go through all the ingredients. It's not that hard to do, it's not that hard to put together. A lot of people just like the smoker and alone. They, I just enjoy cooking it up with some tomatoes. So let's, um, this smoker that I'm using here is boneless heron. And you're just going to be boiling it and then cleaning out some of the extra, removing some of the extra bone that you have in it. Now I prefer to use this. I know there's the smoked fish that you can actually find and I, I don't I don't really actually I've never really used that but I used to always pick up a pack of this in the uh, supermarket and it's actually pretty easy to work with and of course I have my uh, tomatoes here that I'm going to be chopping up and adding in you're going to be using one uh, not this entire onion but if you have a smaller one and um, some hot peppers that I already chopped up and have in my freezer so it's just easy to use when I'm ready and some shadow benny and some garlic it's pretty simple, so let's get into the process of how we're going to put together this dish. Don't forget though to hit that subscribe button so you would not miss out on any of my videos and also hit that notification button to get notified every time I post a video. The first thing I'm doing is putting this smoker in to boil for, uh, I'll leave it about 10 minutes or so, just to um, remove some of that saltiness in it, but not too much at the same time. And um, in the meantime, while this is boiling, we are going to just prepare everything else, chop up the tomatoes and the onions, peppers and garlic, etc. All right, so let's get started with the tomatoes. Now, the amount of the number of tomatoes you use will be dependent on the amount of smoke herring. But for that one pack, I'm just going to be using about four medium-sized tomatoes because I like more of the smoke herring in it. And the tomato so I'm just going to slice these up going to chop my thinly slice my onions because I love onions but I don't, I don't like getting chunks of onions in my food at all so I like to thinly slice it now you know if you get a once a small onion you can use like the entire thing if you like onions like I do and I have two cloves of garlic that I'm just going to grate And then just about only two leaves of the shadow benny. It's not even fully necessary, but you know, I just like as much local chili flavors in all my food. And I like a lot of seasoning in my food and pepper. So just remember that everything you're cooking, it's just based on your preference, your likes, your taste, your, your dislikes. I am somebody who just love a lot of seasoning, a lot of garlic, a lot of onions peppers so you tend to find that my food always you know might have a little more seasoning or than you might put in yours but just adjust accordingly in your own kitchen in your kitchen according to your likes i'm just going to be using regular hot pepper because husband has to eat as well i if he was not going to be eating this i was actually going to be using scorpion pepper so i'm just going to be using citrine a little bit but you know That should be fine there so we have our smoke and that's finished boiling and again just be careful I, I find these days when you boil these they get hard sometimes I mean and if you look at the pack it says 25 to 20 to 25 minutes boiling I boil it for way less than that and it still end up I, I just getting really hard so all I'm going to be doing is just removing all this extra fine stuff that you don't want to be getting while you're eating your smoke and tomato Take out as much as you can. You won't be able to get all, but just as much as you can. And just shred it.
All right, so about three minutes later, I have my shredded uh, smoke herring. It's just, you know, fine as possible. I don't like getting big chunks in my um, dish. So I just like to shred them as fine as possible. And now the fun part, let's put everything together. So before we put this together, let's just go back through the ingredients. I have my shredded smoker in there. Well, it's already for about 10 minutes max. And um, I, sh I let it cool, took out, removed all the extra bone from it, and I shredded it. Um, while I was doing, while I was boiling, we went ahead and we chopped up the tomato. I just used about, I think it was three or four, three or four, four tomatoes I used here. And I also have peppers, grated garlic, shadow benny, and some sliced onions in here as well. So now let's put everything together. Now the fun part, putting everything together. I have some oil heating in my pot. I'm gonna let that heat up very nicely and then I'm going to add the onions and the garlic, peppers, shadow benny. I'm adding my onions and stuff. It smells good. You don't want the onions to burn and the garlic. You don't want the garlic more small so to burn any onions. And then you're gonna add the smoke herring in. And right after I'm gonna throw in the tomatoes. Now this is normally the stage that people would stop at and enjoy it with big and even down rice. I add in my tomatoes. I'm going to add some water to it. Reduce the heat, cover it, and then check on it. Check on it on our smoker and tomato. So what you can do is just use your spoon and just um, try to break up the tomato into even smaller pieces. Just mash it down. This does not take long to cook. The tomato melts in no time. The smoker is already cooked, so it's just ready to tie everything together. And again, with, with this, uh, some people enjoy the tomato chunky. I don't like my tomato chunky or the smoke herring chunky. So I tend to leave it until the tomato melted out and cooked in nicely. So believe it or not, this looks just about finished. And this was covered down for no more than two to three minutes. You can leave it on, turn up the heat, just leave it on to let any excess water um, dry out and also be sure to taste it to make to just be sure at least the amount of salt in it is right. If not, you can add some. Also, something to remember too, when you're actually boiling the smoke herring, if you're worried about the salt content in it, what you can actually do is just make sure you boil it properly so that if necessary, it's easier to add salt than have to take out salt from a salty dish so it took about two to three minutes covered for the tomatoes to melt out just gonna leave it to end up the heat i'm gonna allow more a little more of the water to evaporate from it and that is our smoke herring and tomato dish finished in no time
we have our finished smoking and tomato dish here it looks good and it smells so good can't wait to dig in sometimes what i do is i also freeze some of this so i would normally portion them out into smaller containers and shove them in the freezer and when i'm ready to have some smoking and tomato i also have i also tend to have dal frozen in my freezer as well so whenever i'm ready to enjoy some dal rice and smoking and tomato i just take it out throw it out and eat 